Guys, this may be the most excited I've been to make a video. There is so much stuff to go over in this field pass. I am so excited. This completely changes how we play Madden. All right, guys, so we've had a lot of rumors going around about this field pass that was coming out to Madden. And today, they finally gave us all of the info. Field passes are going to take the place of missions, but there's a bunch of them. There are three different types of field passes. I'm so excited about this. First, there's going to be your overall arcing season field pass. This field pass is going to go on for about 60 days, the length of the whole season. 60 different levels you're going to earn. And for getting those levels, we're going to get the things that we would expect. You're going to get uniforms, you're going to get packs, you're going to get coins and high overall players. If you guys played MLB The Show, this kind of feels like the programs they have over there, right? But you go through as you earn XP, you get packs and you get stubs and you get players at the end. This feels exactly the same way. And it is exactly what we've been asking for inside that field pass. So there's objectives, right? You're going to get these objectives done. You're going to earn XP and that's how you're going to progress it. Here's just a quick peek at some of the objectives that look like they're going to be in there on, on season one. Coach John Madden is back in the game and looks like you're going to earn him right from the season one field pass. So there's also two other different types of field passes. Looks like there's almost always going to be three field passes going on, at least two, I would imagine. Maybe if there's not a program going on, we won't get the third one. But the second one that will always be going on is the competitive field pass. This one looks really, really different too. Competitive as a whole got a nice little shakeup this year and i'm loving the way that it looks inside the competitive field pass there's going to be objectives specific to competitive play that's not just head to head anymore solo battles count solo battles are a competitive game mode it's a ranked structured game mode so for all you guys that don't want to go out and play sweaty head to head games you can play solo battles which I, you still might lose to but solo battles count so now you any way that you want to play the game that you can we always heard that people really really don't like when there's a disconnect between your offline players and your online players now they can come to one in this competitive game mode and dive in squad guys you're not left out either though if you play squad seasons those are in there too so any way that you are playing the game in any kind of competitive game mode will count towards the competitive field pass right, bottom line the more ways that you can play this game the better inside that competitive field pass you're going to earn coins you're going to earn packs and other high overall players so solo battles and mutt champions we'll go into that they're going to reset weekly the competitive pass as a whole is going to reset every two weeks that's that's fantastic news if you're busy on a weekend and you can't go out and play the game or you're on you're taking a vacation for a couple days or you're sick for a day or two you don't have to feel like you're missing out on a ton because you now have two weeks to get this stuff done no longer are you bound to playing the game when the game dictates you get to play the game how you want to and when you want to and that is perfect the third field pass is going to be the program specific one. First up right out of the gate we have the headliners program that's going to have its own field pass you're going to earn different 86 overall headliner players from this field pass one we don't know who it is yet and the other two are a choice fantasy pack out of the 86 is in the program but the one the cool part is so no matter how you're playing the game if you are grinding through the competitive field pass or you're working on the program specific field pass all of that progress flows into the season field pass so however you're playing you're still working towards that overall 60 day goal of finishing out the season one field pass so far i think this is all amazing news on just the state of the game and how you're going to engage with it removing the time constraints giving you the more freedom to play the way that you want whether you're an online demon and just tearing through people or you can't stand it so you're you're gonna grind out the offline stuff you get to play the game and still earn rewards and that's the best thing for everybody i do want to talk about competitive play real quick for solo battles last year there were 13 games total throughout the week you could play now they've upped that to 28 games every single day it will refresh with four more games for you to play for head-to-head -head seasons they changed the number of games in each division and the numbers of divisions their intent here the goal is to get you into the playoffs faster and to get you more opportunities to go ahead and win that super bowl for better rewards if you're a mutt drafts guy they removed the ranked aspect of mutt drafts so it seems like it's just an open access kind of game mode Salary cap has been completely taken out, so that one's done and gone. So it is much drafts or squads if you don't like regular head-to-head. -head. But if you do want to play head-to-head, -head, you have seasons, all Madden seasons, Mutt Champions, which used to be Weekend League, which is now open seven days a week, squad seasons. And it looks like we can see a little teaser there for 
house rules. We don't know how often those are going to come out, but I'm sure they'll come out from time to time. Guys, all in all, this is all amazing news. I'm so stoked for this. The fact that you can play how you want, when you want is such a huge upgrade to Madden. No longer you tied him like, hey, I have two days. I have to get these house rules done. That's the only way to get this player. If those players are now in the competitive mode, you can play them offline in solo battles. You can play them in Mutt Champions every day of the week. If you're not good at the game, you can just go play regular seasons. If you like the more competitive style of Madden, it looks like all Madden seasons are there from day one. I mean, I, it sounds like they listened. That's it. That's all I got for today. Nice and short and sweet. So much cool stuff coming. A lot more videos coming. We have some coin making stuff and a video breaking down what to do with all of your free or pre-order players. This is why I can't do videos. My Twitch chat, I'm not even live right now and they're still messing with the lights. By the way, if you like this video, not only like and subscribe here, come follow me on Twitch. You can watch me work the market and play Madden Live. Yo, shout out to Faith for turning on the green lights in the middle of a YouTube video.